Ballot counting is underway in the U.S. midterm elections as control of Congress still hangs in the balance. The outcome will also set the landscape for the presidential election two years from now. For more on this, we have our Lee Dae-yeon on the line with us. Leon, do fill us in. Toyon, for this year's midterm election, 35 of the 100 U.S. Senate seats and all 435 seats in the House of Representatives are up for grabs, and 36 states were electing governors. As for the Senate, it's a very tight race. As of now, according to the Associated Press, the Democrats have taken 48 seats, while the Republicans picked up 49 seats. Either party could secure a Senate majority with wins in both Nevada and Arizona, where the races were too early to call. Meanwhile, in Georgia, a closely watched Senate election will be decided in a runoff after both Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker failed to win an outright majority. The two men will square off again in the runoff election scheduled for next month on December 6. In the key battleground of Pennsylvania, Democrat John Fetterman beat Republican Mehmet Oz, flipping a key seat previously held by a Republican. Meanwhile, the Republicans held on to seats in Florida, Ohio, and North Carolina. As for the House of Representatives so far, the Republicans are in the lead with 207 seats, while the Democrats are on course for at least 180 seats. A party needs at least 218 seats out of a total of 435 for control of the House. Democrats kept seats in districts from Virginia to Kansas to Rhode Island. In a particularly symbolic victory, the Republican Party toppled House Democratic campaign chief Sean Patrick Maloney of New York. Right, and U.S. President Joe Biden addressed reporters from the White House about the election results so far just moments ago. You're right, Toyon. Just a few hours ago, President Joe Biden said that the giant red wave that had been predicted earlier didn't happen. Biden said that any seat lost by his party is painful, but also pointed out that his party lost fewer seats in the House of Representatives than any Democratic president's first midterm election in the last 40 years. While saying he understands the frustration of voters, Biden added he is prepared to work with his Republican colleagues. Take a listen. Regardless of what the final tally in these elections show, and there's still some counting going on, I'm prepared to work with my Republican colleagues. The American people have made clear, I think, that they expect Republicans to be prepared to work with me as well. Also asked how he interprets last night's results in terms of him seeking another term, the president responded that it remains his intention to run for re-election in 2024, and the results did not impact that intention. That's all I have for now, but I'll be back with more updates in a later newscast. Back to you, Doyan. Thank you for the report, Leon.